I don't know if you saw the um the otter. Whoa! No. Okay, but they're over on Cold Water Quest, the movie otter. But kind of the story behind Gracie is they found her, you know, on the coast of Southern California, which is where they're from. So they bring them and teach them their otter skills, like how to forage for food and all these things, and they let them go in the wild. And then whoever goes to zoological places like this are the ones that don't take the wild. So they put her out in the wild, and they follow her and, like, track her and make sure she's yeah. okay. She laid on her back on the surface of the ocean for three days, crying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So they said, you win. You get to go and be an ambassador for your cousins that have gone back into the wild. Oh, yeah. she did not want to do this. She wanted to be, you know, so they said, you win, you get to go. Wow. So she's very happy here. She's the one that you'll see when she's on her back that she, mm -hmm. she loves to put one paw, like, oh. up by her, you know, like. Yeah. And that's what she does, you know. Okay. Now, Oz is the other one, and he is the only sea oh. otter that was born in captivity. It is because they have laws about it because they rescue them. Mm -hmm. So they need enough places and zoological places for the ones that don't take to the wild. Right. Because they learn all their skills right. from their from their mother. Right. So anyway, they don't want them to be born in captivity because they could never be set free if right. they were born in right. captivity. Well, Oz was a surprise you made because they weren't you made a He was born at the Oregon Zoo, which is why he has the name Oz. They named him Oz off of the Oregon. And his parents, they didn't feel like we're old enough 